Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at some brand new glamour, specifically for helms that were added in 6.3, something I wanted to go straight to now. Uh, these are the Red Morning Glory Corsage. Corsage then, you know, another way of saying flowers in your hair. So we've had flower crowns of all different types before and every major patch we seem to be getting new flowers. These are flowers that you can grow in pots inside your houses if you already know about that. You can also grow them in pots inside your apartments as well. And I believe in FC rooms, although I'm not sure. I need to double check that. But the new flower seeds are available from various places in the world uh, you can get them from tani here the florist over in new gradania simply teleport over here and go north a bit towards the middle exit to old gradania and you'll find a shop next to the skywatcher npc and uh, on tani if you've never been here before tick the show only recently added items and you'll see the morning glory seeds it says if given even a modicum of attention these seeds will grow into delicate Twinning, twining flowers that greet each day in full blossom, which is more than can be said of most people. No, don't we know it? Look at the comment section <laughs> on some certain videos. So we can grow these in pots. Uh, I'm not going to waste time. We're going to go and have a look at the actual helms. Alrighty, a place with nice and light sort of areas would be our stage area in the FC, so let's have a look at these. First of all then, I must say that these Morning Glory accessories are crafted with alchemy. Uh, all you have to be is level 77, basic alchemy, and of course your typical recommended craftsmanship of 1621. Yeah, very easy to make these using the actual Morning Glory colour, obviously as well as some bear fat, which is low-level mobs, and some underground spring water, easily obtainable. Not very expensive at all. So in many ways, uh, these uh, morning glories are a perfect thing to craft and, of course, uh, make some gil, right? That's the, the best thing about them. Uh, so obviously they differ in what variety you need, and you obviously can purchase the seeds, pot them up, and then harvest them to get the actual morning glories and then mix them with those other materials. The rainbow one specifically is obviously from um, um, the rainbow morning glories specifically. So you have to do seed shenanigans to get those. So let's have a look at these then. As I can show you here, I've got all of the colors of the literal rainbow so we can have a look at them. So let's start with the red one. So as you can see, immediately you will notice that my hair is clipping a little bit with these. I also just wanted to point out at an esthetician here uh, how badly this clips with any other hairstyle than something like this. So you need something very flat and straight to be able to get this to look any good, unless you don't mind clipping, because look at the variety of things that you would normally use. Even the base um, starting out hairstyles, the majority of those are going to clip way worse than the one that I had. That's not too bad, actually, the twin tails. Although there's a bit of hair through there. So this is a not something for people who necessarily dislike clipping. Oh my the afro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, strangely that one doesn't work too bad actually. Ish Taylor's hairstyle with it. Surprisingly. Um size hairstyle. Yeah. Cloud strife hairstyle's not not looking too good there. Alma's hairstyle. Actually, Alma's hairstyle looks not too bad there. So, yeah. It's going to vary. I ended up changing the hairstyle to the Alma one simply because it clipped less violently uh, than the others. But as you can see, um, much clearer, we have the pin and we have those like leaf and then the tassel with the beads there. So I thought that was a better way of looking at it. Let's uh, flick through the different colors then and show you those. There's the orange Morning Glory Corsage. And there's the yellow Morning Glory Corsage as well. Bit of green. There's the blue one. This is the purple Morning Glory Corsage, probably my favorite of the colors here. There's the white Morning Glory Corsage, which is more of a snow white than a pure white, obviously, as you can see. 
There's the black Morning Glory corsage, which I personally think is, you know, top tier. I think that would look really lovely, especially with the Alma hairstyle here. And if you wore something black with a contrast of white, that'd be perfect. And then finally, we have the rainbow Morning Glory corsage, which is less of a rainbow and more of three colors that we have chosen. So we've got blue, we've got purple, and we've got the sort of snow white color which is probably not my favorite selection of those three. I probably would have gone with the orange, the purple, and like the, the green or something. I don't know. But uh, that's the that's the choice they went with. It's got a little pin, obviously, as we rotate around. There's not really much more to say about these. Uh, they're easy to craft, obviously. Uh, good value for money if you can get these uh, crafted and make some gill. Uh, they do look pretty cool, honestly, but you're going to need you know, short-ish hair or, or a male character with shortish hair as well. And there's plenty of short hairstyles in this game, but I was surprised at how many of the mid-length ones just didn't work at all. They just clipped horribly. There we go. Hopefully that scratched the itch and uh, you can go and have a look at this video before you buy one. Much love, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.